David Alfaro Siqueiros. Nació el 29 de diciembre de 1896 en Chihuahua y fue mexicano. Él fue un pintor y muralista. Él estudió en la Academia de San Carlos. Vivo la mayor de su vida en México, pero visito Estados Unidos y trabajo en Los Angeles, donde pinto la historia de relación de Estados Unidos y América Latina. En Nueva York, él abrió las escuelas para artistas nuevas. Murió el 6 de enero de 1974 en Cuernavaca. David had two siblings, a sister Luz and a brother Chucho. David was four when his mother died and his father sent him and his siblings away to live with his paternal grandparents. When he was 15, he was involved in a student strike at the Academy of San Carlos of the National Academy of Fine Arts that protested the school's teaching method and urged the school's director impeachment. At the age of 18, Siqueiros joined the Mexican Revolution Army, and he eventually became a captain. He also joined the Communist Party and worked to undermine Mexico's new military dictator, Victoriano Huerta. Siqueiros often combined politics and art, and when his painting career started in the early 1930s, he produced many political-based artwork. Although his artworks were amazing, many of his works got him in big trouble. Around the same time he started painting, he was put into jail because of one of his artworks. In this piece, David Alfaro Siqueiros still uses all of his vivid colors in his painting, and his painting is based on the present, which was the time in the revolution when they were still fighting. Evidence of this is that some of the very famous Mexican revolutionaries are in the painting, such as Emilio Zapato and some other people who stand out from the rest of the soldiers. Another interesting fact about this is there is a woman in the front, which is similar to some of his other paintings, which deal with women overcoming oppression. Many of Siqueiros' paintings, such as this, usually have a main focus as to how the past, present, and future of the Mexican Revolution is affecting its people. In this painting, Echo of a Screams, he places a baby in the middle as a way to show how the revolution is affecting innocent victims. Siqueiros also places the baby in a background that has a lot of rubble to show the destruction the revolution is causing. While in the background, it shows a tree that is very far back that could represent hope for the future, but it's still too early for that to happen. Thanks for watching!